Got two more laps left, so keep that going. Clap, whoop, cheer, welcome to the stage. Jamie Douglas, everybody. Yo, yo, yo. This is it. I'm going to start off on a depressing note. Um, I got to the travel lodge here to, uh, to book in, and they told me there's no quilts available because it's summertime. So, so now, <laughs> that's, good, that's pretty, so I'm going to have to get really pissed tonight. Um, this Ukraine crisis has, uh, you know, it's brought out the best in people. Um, and I was thinking, why do British people, you know, kind of associate with Ukrainians where we don't, with like Syrians and stuff? Uh, someone said racism, but I like to think it's, you know, higher causes. So I was thinking about the name, and it's like UK, rain, <laughs> and there's even a little E in there for pillheads who can't give up the 90s. <laughs> so that's nice. Uh, my uncle took in a uh, Ukrainian lady. Um, this was 10 years ago, and it cost him 20 grand. <laughs> but we all love our aunt Auntie Svetlana, so. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, one weird thing about the whole thing is now, uh, have you seen in Sainsbury's and stuff, you, you can't say Kiev anymore, it's Kiev. So it's like, uh, you know, mum, go and get me some chicken Kievs. Uh, and it's not actually that unusual in, uh, in Ukrainian history for names to change. So uh, the city of Lviv, Lviv, sorry, used to be the Polish city Lvov. A little history lesson for you there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was thinking that that's really nice because now all these kind of like middle class women who are bringing in refugees can change all of their live, laugh, love posters to Lviv, laugh, Lvov. <laughs> Happy days. Uh, not all of my family is as welcome into to foreign cultures. So uh, my Geordie uncle, um, he, he was complaining about a pub around the corner from his house being turned into a Sikh uh, Gudwara uh, temple. And his, honestly, his response to that was, you don't see us going to fucking India and building churches, do you? I'm like, what the fuck do you think the British Empire was? <laughs> it's just, a, just like a members club where we find chums to play cricket with. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> it runs in, the in that bit of the family anyway, because his son's a fucking UKIP junior counsellor, which is, I think is the closest we get to the Hitler Youth. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's an interesting chap he's, he's a Glaswegian guy um, and in the 80s he had a, quite an interesting job uh, he was a pimp uh, <laughs> and people think kind of stylish black guys when they think pimps not some Glaswegian golem <laughs> but yeah so um, the I don't well my dad you can kind of think of him as a wingman who could arrange for you to get syphilis basically <laughs> and then charge you <laughs> Uh, the, the 50 Cent uh, Pimp song, there's actually a version with my dad on it. It goes, uh, I don't know what you heard about me, but a bitch can't get a dollar out of me. No Cadillac, no perms, you can't see. But you might want to get yourself checked out for the HIV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not raw enough for that. I, I got a little uh, swelling around my dick once, and uh, the only song I got out of that was, uh, It's just... A little thrush. <laughs> Not like girls die every time I fuck. Um, having a pimp for a dad was quite, quite handy in certain situations. So if you remember when you were in, a, in the schoolyard and people would say, you know, my dad's got a bigger car than your dad. My dad earns more money than your dad. And I would just like grab a mic and drop it and be like, well, my dad was a fucking pimp. <laughs> and I often wonder what that would be like now. So... You know, my dad recycles more than your dad. <laughs> my dad has a smaller carbon footprint than your dad. <laughs> well, I have two dads, and at the weekend they dress as two mums and fuck other dads. <laughs> oh. <laughs> woke. <laughs> Speaking of woke, I'm, I'm really sick of black privilege, aren't you? You know, like, okay, white people, we get away with, you know, doing loads of shit, we, like, get more money for some reason. But black people get away with cooler names. So, for example, if I call my kids Blessing or Faith, then I'm just a stupid chav. <laughs> Whereas if a black guy calls his kids uh, Wisdom or Prince, then he's just Nigerian. <laughs> and if you laughed at that, you're the real racist, because Prince is a Ghanaian name. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.
Jimmy Douglas, everyone.